Aaron Atkins, time for another monster killer for our theater. Oh! Oh! oh. And tonight, <laughs> we really have a frightening movie for you tonight, kids. This is really going to be scary. I'm not kidding you this time. This movie is called Blood Sucking Monkeys from West Mifflin, Pennsylvania. <laughs> and it's really good, so I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's take a look at this movie. It's really going to scare the daylights out of you. Ooh. <laughs> Let's take a look at the film. <laughs> problem kids <laughs> the movie is uh we, we don't have the movie something went wrong we don't have the film uh and it was scary i promise you it was a real frightening film this this movie won the western pennsylvania a fright award in 1978 i think it really garnered the the awards at that ceremony I, i'll tell you what i'm gonna do though don't have much time but i'm gonna tell you what the movie is I'll tell it to you, it's so scary, maybe, maybe then you'll know how, what you missed. It was, these blood-sucking monkeys were raised in West Mifflin, Pennsylvania, real scary territory, and they were from little babies, they, they were raised up, they were dropped from a rocket ship, and then uh, they started to grow and grow and grow, and then finally they couldn't, they couldn't stand, they started eating away at the farmers. They would jump on farmers and start eating them, sucking their blood, and spinning them around and throwing them up like that, and the bones would just fly all over the place like chicken. That's right, chicken. Then the monkeys got too big for West Mifflin, so they hopped on a freight train. I think it was an Amtrak train, I'm not sure, but they went straight down into uh, Sewickley, Pennsylvania, which is a nice suburb of Pittsburgh. <laughs> well, right down, down there, it really started in on the, they started working their ways from the, all the people. They would grab farmers and they would grab chicks and they would grab housewives and they'd grab soldiers and everything would walk by them. They'd sneak up their legs and they'd crawl up their legs and they'd start munching and munching and eating. And then they'd get to their bellies and then they'd burrow their ways into the belly button. Something like, if you remember, you saw the alien. It was like the alien, only instead of popping out, it kind of pop in and then just climb right up. And, and then people would be talking in Pittsburgh. They'd be saying, hey, what's happening? What's going on, eh? Pretty good, eh? I'm gonna have a good, oh, I'm telling you. And then pop, they would pop right out of their mouths, this scary monkey. And they'd come out and say, <laughs> oh, the monkeys just kept going all over the place. They spread all over. Then they finally got to Pittsburgh and they ate up practically all the whole city. Every Pittsburgher was going, what's going on? Hey, I don't understand it. And they ate up all the Pittsburghers. And that was the end. The whole Air Force dropped a bomb on Pittsburgh. They, they had to sacrifice that fine golden triangle for the monkeys and they killed all the monkeys and I'm telling you, the movie was so good, it wasn't even funny. <laughs> well, next week I promise you we'll have a real good with our monster chiller theater. Um, it'll, maybe even the monkeys will show it for real. It's much better than what I told you. Scary. So until then, this is Count Floyd saying good night, sleep tight, and don't let the cows come in.